Hello good people of the interwebs, welcome back to another video here on Food Chain TV. No doubt you were wondering, how do I roast butternut squash? Well you came to the right place. So in a previous video I showed you how to take a butternut squash and break it down into these nice cookable pieces. So if you don't know how to get to this point, you can go back and watch my other video and then come back to this one. Okay, but so now we're here. So we got our butternut squash pieces and we're going to roast them. So the first thing that I'm going to do is go ahead and turn your oven on and set it at 400 and preheat it. All right, so we're here with our butternut squash. And what I'm going to do here is I love to roast butternut squash with bell peppers. So what I'm going to do is take a bell pepper here. It's going to cut the top, bottom. Okay, this opens it up. And now uh, you can cut it into all sorts of shapes. I like to make these spears. Okay, take this off here. Up, bottom. Take the stem off. All right, now we can mix these in here with the butternut squash. Look at all these beautiful colors. You're gonna add some sort of oil. I'm gonna add some olive oil. You can add whatever oil you'd like. It's all gonna do the same thing. All right, we're gonna toss this. Make sure that everything is covered in oil. And what the oil does is it conducts heat to the surface of the food. So it makes it cook faster. All right, and I'm gonna season it with, at the very least, a little bit of salt. Okay, this does not have to be a big complicated recipe with like 50 different ingredients. You can just keep it simple and let the ingredients speak for themselves. Okay, in this case, we got our nice butternut squash and our peppers, and once you roast them, and you start caramelizing all those starches into sugars, it is going to taste great. All right. Now another thing you're gonna need is a sheet pan and parchment paper. Parchment paper is a great product. It'll keep things from sticking, okay? I have a lot of parchment paper on hand at all times. I use a lot of it. Parchment paper is life. All right, so. We're gonna put our butternut squash into our pan here, spread it out evenly so it's as flat as possible. All right, there we go. And this is gonna go in the oven at 400 until it is roasted. So how do you know it is roasted? Well, I'm gonna give you my roasting time here, but your oven will vary because some people have convection ovens, some people don't have convection ovens, and some people's ovens are slightly hotter or slightly colder. All right, but what you're looking for essentially is a little bit of browning. And if you take a fork and you squish a piece of butternut squash, it should squish uh, really easily if it's fully cooked through. All right, so that's what you're looking for. All right, let's go to the oven. Okay, well it's now 40 minutes later. These came out of the oven and they are perfectly cooked. So now all you gotta do is just season them. Now this is optional, but I have some nice fresh herbs here. I have some chopped parsley and tarragon. Okay, so I'm just gonna sprinkle these on here just for color and some nice flavor. And I didn't have any fresh garlic, so I'm gonna use powdered garlic. Okay, let's put a little bit on that. And there you go, some roasted butternut squash. It makes an excellent side dish for any dinner that you're about to have. Thank you very much for watching this video. Please do not forget to hit that subscribe button. Your subscriptions help me spend more time making videos for you. Until next time, enjoy your butternut squash.